students of Daystar. Uh, it is my pleasure to talk to you today after quite a break uh, due to the COVID-19 situation. I'm extremely pleased with how we have uh, held ourselves together and uh, continued not only with our studies but uh, remained as a family uh, through our chapels and uh, through other occurrences the Diasterians have remained truly a united community and I want to thank my students most sincerely for being who you are. As you are aware, our university is uh, Christ-centered. We have our own values. Uh, we care for each other. We serve each other. And above all, we have uh, core values that uh, bind us together. And during this difficult time, those values have come uh, to the fore from each and every one of us. I cannot mention all of you, but Mueni Wambua, our uh, psychology master student, you are share a care pack, and uh, Julia Yeko, uh, the media relations and uh, crisis communication uh, student, I appreciate your rallying call for the hysterians for Daystar. And so we have shown, just like Kenya itself as a nation is doing, that uh, we confront this virus with a strong sense of togetherness and love and care as a big family. To the special group of students who joined us uh, in May, uh, I just want to thank you and uh, appreciate that you have, you have managed to go through uh, the virtual orientation and you're on, uh, on the e-learning platform for your classes. Uh, I do really uh, appreciate and, and as a vice chancellor, I hope I'll find opportunity to meet you in person, particularly your parents and yourself, so that we can truly welcome you to Daystar. The January students, that special group of students, I, I've just asked my DVC academic and the DVC finance, and they tell me that we have uh, about 6.6% of our students were not able to do their exams. They were not able to come on the e-learning platform. Now that gives us about 300 students out of the registered 4,600. I want to assure those students as a university and particularly me as your vice chancellor, I am very concerned and that arrangements will be made when things normalize so that you can come in for uh, special seminars and make up classes and we shall set special exams for you. So I don't want any student feeling left behind because we are one as Daystar. Um, I also want just to remind you that uh, the spirit of the new dawn still prevails and moves on. And uh, when, you, when the rest of your, your, your colleagues will come to main campus and even Valley Road, uh, the promises we made uh, we didn't stop because of COVID. The perimeter wall construction phase one is nearing completion. Uh, the gym uh, uh, extension is also nearing completion. And uh, all other programs, including the bus that I promised uh, to bring f for main campus, uh, Dr. Washira, our DVC finance, is working on the logistics for this to come to pass. As I finish, I just want to thank uh, all of you for the messages of encouragement that I've received personally and uh, also received through corporate affairs, received through faculty, uh, that uh, you truly appreciate what we have done as an administration under these very severe conditions. 
in return I ask of you to also focus on your studies sharply and let not this COVID-19 I'm calling it an interlude because my prayer to God is that it fizzles out let it not disrupt your program of completing your studies so please get on those platforms and as Daystar University we now have a, a fully fledged directorate of open distance and e-learning with a director and a board and we are also partnering with uh, two universities in the US on their platform so we will be a leader in this area and so I want you to take advantage and prepare for your July exams just like we did for the January semester so that we will be ready to come back in August and continue with our studies. Uh, to the graduating class of 2020, I hope your hopes are not dashed. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for you. Although there will be a delay, it has now been confirmed that graduation will be on 13th of November 2020. Uh, we are intensifying our prayer to God so that this graduation will be physical. Because there is nothing as important as a physical graduation. But if circumstances won't allow then we'll have a virtual graduation but you can be sure being a communication school uh, that virtual graduation will be very close to the real physical graduation at our main campus and so i want to wish you well i want us to remain together and just know that you have a caring vice chancellor you have a caring uh, management you have a caring council and company uh, and uh, even our foreign students who were trapped uh, when the lockdown came, we are caring for them on this main campus. And so may God bless you and keep you and your families safe now and in the days to come. Thank you. Daystar University. Excellence, transformation and servant leadership.